Hi everyone, this is Adrian. And I'm Carrie. And for this episode, we are gonna talk about Fun by Azaro. Yeah, did they say his name right? Azaro, yeah. Okay. So, I tried this fragrance on me for a couple of days. And it smells like, in the beginning, of course the alcohol, you'll smell it right away. But the, um, it smells like sweet tangerines and pineapple and then after a while it smells like um some kind of flower i don't know why i keep saying lilac probably like the only scent i know but um it smells like a flower and then a little bit of powder and that's what it's like to me so what are the notes in this okay so the note that you're uh, thinking of as the sweet tangerine is actually one of your favorite fruits what is it? Blood orange. Oh. Uh, now you know why. Okay. Huh? Okay. So the other things are rhubarb, mm -hmm. cassis, which are like the leaves and buds of black currant, mm -hmm. and then a kegala wood, which is not a real wood. It's a synthetic of agar wood, which is kind of an oud type of a fragrance. Mm -hmm. But it also has sort of a smell like patchouli and pepper. Mm -hmm. So I think probably the orange blended with the sort of the bittersweet of the cassis and rhubarb is maybe what you were uh, sensing as pineapple. Because pineapple isn't a smell all on its own. It's a mixture of things, kind of like cherry mm. is an accord. It's a mm. combination of scents. So maybe the pineapple-y feel that you were getting out of it was the combination of a couple things. The powdery part, I think, probably comes from the Akigala wood. Um, no, once again, it's a synthetic, uh, but has a sort of a light patchouli peppery sort of a smell to it. Okay, so this is a pleasing fragrance, even though you said there was patchouli in it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I hardly noticed that it actually had it because it doesn't last too long, probably an hour and a half for four sprays mm -hmm. and then becomes kind of a skin scent, but yeah. you have to spray it on again. And I think it's a summer fragrance mm -hmm. because it's like I said, citrus and um, it's not going to choke you out. Right. You have to really pour this on you. And another thing about this is once you spray it on you, don't expect it to that you could smell it again because you get a nosemia really quick with this fragrance. Right. For people that don't know what a nosemia is, is like when your nose becomes really accustomed to a scent that you're wearing, it becomes accustomed sometimes pretty quick and other people can smell you as you walk by, but you can't smell you. And so sometimes people end up putting on way too much cologne and choking people out. <laughs> and so why did they call this fun? Why did he call it fun? Uh, I couldn't find any uh, written explanations of that, but it's supposed to be just sort of a light, summery sort of a fragrance, something that you would put on for casual occasions, like, you know, going out to the park or something with friends, going to maybe sit by the pool or something for a while. So something that's not complicated, that's not going to be cloying in the heat, and it's just simple and fun and i think they kind of really hit the mark with it yeah I, like it. I think so it's not trying to be anything so you know it's not the forceful fragrance mm -hmm. and when was this made because i think i had memories of it when i was much younger and i think i saw this on a commercial on the beach either on a magazine or on tv i don't know you know how it is when it's you know that old of a memory so you must have memories of something else that smells like it. Mm -hmm. And that could very well be because there's a lot of fresh summery scents that smells similar. I think the rhubarb note in this makes it kind of new and unique, but uh, you don't necessarily pick that up as rhubarb because not a lot of people are familiar with it. It's just sort of an interesting note. But Fun came out in 2019, so it's fairly new. Oh, wow. How about Azaro? Azaro has been around for a long okay, time. Okay, so there you go. Must have been a different fragrance by Azaro. Yeah, Azaro's had fragrances out for maybe 40 years. So the, and I thought that it was a fragrance that like was in the 90s. 
wow. because of like my memory attached to something for some reason. Yeah. So it's actually recent. This is a very recent one, yeah, just a few years old. Okay, so who is the target <clears throat> market? Um, I would say this is probably a kind of a young fragrance. Um, I think anybody can pull it off. It's casual. I would say more than a certain age, it's a certain um, sort of a setting. Casual, warm weather, outdoorsy. Okay. Could be a nice gym scent if you just like to smell fresh going to the gym. Definitely unisex. Oh, that too. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there's nothing about this that makes it lean specifically male, specifically female. I believe it's even marketed as unisex. That's great to know. So tell me more about Azaro. Well, Azaro's got lots of uh, scents out. I don't know much about their scents for women, but I believe they do have um, quite a line of women's scents. But Azaro has definitely been a mainstay of men's fragrance for quite a few years. I remember it from when I was like in my early 20s and stuff. There were um, many Azaro scents out and some of those are still around. But with this one, um, this one definitely is a nice take on a like a summer freshie and stuff. So definitely one that is pretty seasonal, but um, it's one I think that a lot of people will like. Uh, and it's an easy go to when you can't really decide what to wear and you're running out and doing something, you know you're gonna be in the heat. This one will be nice and people will catch a nice few whiffs of it now and then, but it won't uh, it won't like blow them out. I actually think it's like a picnic fragrance. Could be, yeah. You know, go out there at the park, mm -hmm. have like some barbecue, mm -hmm. kids running around, yeah. friends coming to visit right. or relatives. Yeah, it's a nice scent, you know, when you're seeing friends and somebody comes in for a hug and they smell the nice fresh scents of this, it's definitely a nice freshy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna choke off anyone. Right. One thing I would advise with these, sometimes some of these summer scents like these are things that don't stick around for long. This has been out for a few years. Um, you know, there's no word that I've heard that it's discontinued, but it is one, like if you're interested in this scent profile, it's pretty affordable through discounters. Uh, and so I would pick up a bottle and if you like it, get a backup bottle because a lot of times scents like these, um, for whatever reason, sometimes lack, you know, ingredients go uh, off the market or something like that, or they just move on to other things. They disappear from the market and then you can't get them. Oh, leave a comment if there's some fragrance you want us to talk about. Right, yeah, if there's uh, specific fragrances that you're interested in, um, good chance that we have them and we can review them for you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.